All right, everybody, we are back here on Money Matters Midday. About six minutes, Murray Miller, until I begin my super long weekend. Nice. What do you got planned for Memorial Day? I must ask. Oh, I don't know. Maybe a little boating. Maybe a little uh, head down, head to the Cape and uh, see some family down there. Have a cookout. Oh, that's good life. Yeah, that's the good all life. All the good isn't stuff. It? And, uh, of course, you can enjoy the good life if you go to college. Yes, this is true. The average college graduate will make about a million dollars more in his or her career over the average high school graduate, according to the statistics. And if you do it right, you won't have to pay that million dollars that you make more going to school. That's what I'm here for. That's what you're here for. And I just want to give out your contact information again because you could be a great help to people. It's... uh, College Planning Strategy is the name of the company, but the website, OurCollegePlan.com. Everybody check it out. And if you have any questions, call 1-800-863-9440. Now, um, what is the hot time of year to that people start coming to you? Is it is it in the winter? Is it now it's in the actually, summer? Or? Actually, it slows down right now. Okay. It starts to pick up in August, and then it gets into a heated frenzy by mid-September. We're busy all the way through the end of March, early April, and then, of course, all the students have picked their final choice college on May 1st, and then it starts to slow down. Then students are, and parents are trying to get their student loans in order and things of that nature right about now. Is there any advice you have for families, the kids, the parents, for the summertime when they're not in school to continue Absolutely. working towards college? Absolutely. This is a great time to visit colleges. Um, you know, a lot of parents wait too long, in my opinion, to visit colleges. I think to get the students looking at the colleges and starting to form opinions on what they like and what they don't like. Do they like a small school, a big school, a city school, a, a more rural school with l- rolling green lawns? Yeah, right. What, what is it that, that makes you feel comfortable and at home? And then, of course, start looking into the programs, talking to other students. They have a lot of events where you can stay overnight, and uh, some of them have classrooms that you can sit in on uh, during the uh, summertime. So a lot of good things you can do over the summer I, I suggest is, you know as early as the sophomore year you should start visiting colleges so it's very important to get out there and see the schools yeah you wouldn't believe how many people come to us that have 5 10 15 schools on their list they've never visited right and these are schools they're applying to now Murray when you sit down and meet the kid do you help him figure out his likes his dislikes help him narrow down the choice we do we have a, a student services department and we have a series of six or seven workshops uh, everything from college search and visits to the admissions interview the admissions essay how to choose the right major and career uh, go through what you were just describing as sort of a personality profile likes dislikes wants desires they get to go through that whole process and find out really Really where it is that they're they're headed we try to as much as we can take those liberal arts students and give them a little bit more direction right uh, and and it's all about uh, finding out what they want to do maybe long term as a career find the schools that offer their first choice their second choice their third choice because we've seen uh, lately Murray that it's taking kids what five five and a half years to graduate four-year programs because they're not going to the right school well, that could be it. I, 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 have to, I have to blame the colleges a little bit for that, and your okay. statistic is right on. 5.2 years was the average college graduate last year. Um, a lot of times their college advisor, uh, I'm talking about from the college itself, um, or maybe the guidance counselor from high school, puts them in a program that might be just a little bit too lofty right off the bat. Uh, you know, everything flip-flops from high school to college as far as the amount of time you spend in a classroom versus how much study time there is. It's right. completely the antithesis once you get to college. So that's hard for the students to get used to. If they're in five classes, and, and I'm talking about just general education requirements, they could be overwhelmed a month into college and not know which way to go and might end up on academic probation, and that's when they sit down with the officer uh, at, the, uh, at the college and they say, you're taking too many classes. You've got too many hard courses here. This is a rookie mistake. Let's slow things down for you a little bit. And they're in, in So lies. they're being coddled a little bit too much mm-hmm. by the co- Oh, it's hard. Okay, well, <laughs> let's do this. We're going to put you in a bunch of Matt Leinert classes, like dancing and all this, and we'll make it easy for you. <laughs> well, they want to make it easier to slow it down so they don't end up on academic pro- right. probation. And, uh, and that doesn't look good for anybody. Nobody. Exactly. Now, you were saying, you know, you put some of the blame on this on the colleges themselves by making it too easy and, and drawing it out. But what about high school guidance counselors? A lot of people try to use them as a resource, but aren't they so overworked nowadays with all the budget cutbacks and more students coming to school? Right they they on. can't handle the responsibility. Right on. The, the, the average guidance counselor has about 300 students under their care. 
Um, they usually are working with a lot of problems more than they're actually working with, uh, you know, students going to college and getting through that process. So some of the best people in the world, I belong to the Massachusetts Association of Guidance Counselors. I go to their meetings. I know these people. They are genuine people that want to do as much as they can for the students. But it's just time demand that is you, that is slowing it down. You know what I remembered being the best part about the guidance counselors in high school? <laughs> they would give you a pass no matter what, <laughs> a hall pass, you know, no matter what your circumstances I were. I didn't know enough to go to my guidance counselor <laughs> for a pass. I could have learned something from you, Absolutely. Chris. Absolutely. Foxborough High, the guidance counselors. Mrs. Buttermer, great lady. I could stroll in two hours late and get a pass. She oh, was the nice. best. nice. Murray Miller, it was a pleasure to talk to you. We have my a lot pleasure, in common. Chris. College planning strategies, ourcollegeplan.com, 1-800-863-9440. Enjoy your Memorial Day right, weekend. You do the same. And I hope to see you soon here All on right, Money thanks, Matters Chris. Radio. Appreciate it. I'll see everybody Tuesday at 11 o'clock. How does that sound, Dr. Zuckus? We're <laughs> out of here. Happy Memorial Day, everybody.